Nice. You've really made it this far. In this one, we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process of building our models in Blender. Now, I messed up the audio, so it's just not going to be as good as this, but it's not so bad. So just bear with me uh, and we'll get through this together. And as always, hit that like button and especially leave a comment to help the YouTube algorithm. And if you generally have been liking what you've been seeing, hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah, to stay on top of all the cool things that I might want to share. All right, let's play. Okay, so now we're ready to start modeling. So let's hit uh, Blender up and let's wait for that to open. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna create a sphere. Uh, so let's do the sphere, UV sphere, and let's scale that a little bit up. Actually, so why don't we use, why don't we practice using a reference image? So let's go to uh, Google and the inspiration for the bird that I was thinking we could use was gonna be this uh, Magic Leap logo. Uh, since we're doing AR stuff, might as well, right? And let's do this one. And then save image as. And let's put this into a new folder uh, called Blender Files. And we'll hit that and then hit the Magic Leap logo. Save. Okay, now we can exit. And so now we hit, sh oh, I want to activate the screenshot keys. Uh, let's see here. And what we're going to want to do is import this image file so that we can use it as a reference image. So something else useful to do is actually to have an add-on called the Pi menu. And you just want to click that so that it's active. So that allows us to move from different camera views. So uh, when we import an image, we want to make sure that we are at an exact view. Otherwise, the image gets imported at an angle and we don't want that. Uh, so let's go to Documents, go to Tutorials, Burr Family, Burr Family, and let's go to Blender Files, and let's, that magic on. let's load that reference image. There it is. Let's scale the sphere so it matches up. Perfect. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to create some wings for this character. So let's hit Tab to enter Edit Mode. Let's make sure that uh, Vertex Mode is selected. And let's hit one of these vertices. That one right there looks like it would work. And we want to hit uh, this button here, which stands for Proportional Editing. This allows us to move this, but move all vertices or edges that are connected to it. So as you can see, I change the amount of um, changes that I can do based on what's connected to it. But we don't want to do one wing at a time, we want to do both at a time. So what we want to do is add a mirror modifier. And this allows us to uh, do something to this side and it'll do it symmetrically to the other. So if you can see here, they're moving both. So let's make that wing, so that's G. Uh, let's mouse scroll down, we don't want to make it too big. Hit X so that the movement is only on the X axis and pull that up. Something like, like this is probably good. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so now we have that done. Next, we want to add some eyes to this character. So why don't we Shift A and let's add a cylinder and hit G and X to move it to the side. Hit S and Z to scale it on the Z axis. Something like that. And hit S again just to make it a little bit smaller. We don't want these eyes to be too big. Uh, that's probably good. Um, okay, so the next we want to do is we want to move this so that it locks onto basically perpendicular to the vertices or faces of this object. So we can hit this snap option, this little magnet, and make sure that we hit vertex and we can do center and then we want to make sure that the rotation changes based on the uh, alignment. So what this looks like is if I hit G on this again, we can start seeing how it starts aligning to our basically perpendicular to one of these vertices. So why don't we do, this looks pretty good for an eye location. Oh, it's a little weird actually. Actually, let's hit S and make this a little bit smaller because it's looking a little weird. And this is probably good. Alt Q, front, um, maybe a little bit bigger actually. That's probably good. Okay, let's hit Shift D and then let's move this duplicated copy over here. Uh, now we can hit both of them and we want to remove the snap and change the axis, transform axis to local. 
And so now when we hit G on these two objects and hit Z, we can actually move them on the Z axis like this. So you can see that. I thought I'd just do a little bit of halfway. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we have basically a template for our mama bird and our baby bird. So we're gonna call this I1, we're gonna call this I2, we're gonna call this sphere uh, bird. And we're gonna select all these objects and we're going to put them in a folder, so we call this the template folder, and the way that works in Blender is basically a collection. So hit M to start a new collection, we hit that new collection, and we call this bird template. Uh, this is like a folder or an empty object in Unity. So now we can just duplicate this twice, and we want to keep this bird template just in case we mess up and we need to go back. So let's call this mama bird, let's call this uh, baby bird. So now we have our bird, and we don't really need this reference anymore, so we can just deactivate it. Okay, cool. So let's hit save, commands S, and already we're already in Blender files, and we'll call this bird uh, uh, model. Um, that blend. Okay, so let's save that up. Cool. So for the baby bird, I think all we want to do is just, these eyes look cool, but it might look a little bit more aesthetic if we just create cutouts of these eyes. So we, let's hit this body, we can apply this mirror modifier, and uh, we can go to the boolean modifier, and what we do here, actually before we do that, we want to probably apply the scale. So hit Control A and hit scale to apply the scale. And same for this guy, control Oh, that's all. Oh, wrong button. Ah, uh, wrong button. And then hit control A and apply scale, and do the same for this guy, apply scale. This uh, will help us make sure that when we do cutouts of the body, that it's not so messy. Usually it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so now we have this body, we have the Boolean modifier on it. We want to click this dropper icon and click on the objects that we want to use to uh, cut out from. But we can actually just put them together right now by hitting Command J, selecting them and hitting Command J. So now they're a single object. Uh, we can just call this eyes. And now we hit this again and we can actually just select both of them at the same time. And now we can apply this modifier. Hit apply. Now if we move this, we see that we've created a nice clean cutout. And this actually looks a little bit better. So now we actually don't need this, we can hit X and hit delete. Uh, command S to save because we don't want to lose all this work. And now we can create uh, two different materials for this feature. So the first one, the way to do this is we go into edit mode. We go to this little section over here and create a new material. So hit on the face uh, selection button and hit these two faces. Uh, hit this plus button here, it might be a little bit hard to see, there we go. And we're going to call this new material, and we're going to call this baby eyes. And we can just assign, and then we can just do this with a very white color. Maybe even emission if we want. So we can just do what is emission, 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 emission. Emission. No, there we go. Emission. And then next, oh, and then we can hit Command I to select the inverse. Basically, select everything else that wasn't selected, and we can create a new material for that. And we can call this baby body, and we can hit the sign, and then we can change the color of this to uh, maybe a nice, a nice purple. Uh, maybe, uh, this, uh, Okay, and so let's just make sure that this is working. Uh, okay, that's not working. Let's see, it hasn't changed. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. So let's do. Uh, this purple is nice. Okay, great. So now we have our baby bird complete. We could make this less pixelated. And one way to do that is we could go to modify here and do subdivision surface and this can do some cool stuff. Uh, we, we could fix that. But at the end, I actually you know, I kinda like this. You know what? I like this. We're keeping it. 
We're keeping it. Okay. Uh, let's hit it up. We'll just keep that there. We don't need to apply that. Okay, so next, what we want to do is we want to create the uh, mama bird now. So now we've, done, we've completed that. So let's create the mama bird. This is where we're in the template. So let's go back to the modeling here. Okay, great. So for this one, why, instead of uh, making this mama bird have uh, concave eyes, we can give it some cool, weird, maybe, uh, you know, cyberpunk type glasses. Um, but it's also kind of lift these little wings up a little bit. So let's hit on the vertex on these two. And let's just hit G and then hit Y. Oh, I mean Z, and then move these up a little bit. I mean, maybe kind of like the kind of like Mama Bird's a little bit more confident. So she's uh she's kind of like right, calling to arms her her, uh, her baby birds. Okay, great. So now with these glasses, we just do some interesting stuff here. So we're gonna do for each one. We're gonna just do something else. There's not there's not much to do here. Just like something quick and simple. So let's hit. The face option, hit this face, and hit E S to um, extrude along the face, then hit E again, push out, oh, uh, extrude, E and push out, left click, E and S again um, to expand, and E again to push out, uh, E and S, and then E again, actually no, uh, like, Wait, no, I don't want that. E again, push out. E and S, push outwards. E to pull. And I think we have some weird stuff going on here. So E again, S to kind of just make this interesting. And uh, something like that. Oh, oh, oops. E, S, and then left click, and then E, and then move down. And then something like this could be cool. Yeah, this looks cool. Okay, now we'll do something similar again. For this one, maybe less complicated. Uh, so let's hit tab, click on this one, hit E again, hit tab again, and let's do the same thing. Let's select this face, E uh, for extrude and S to scale, move down a little bit. E and S, no, just E, uh, wait. E, extrude out, E and S to extrude outwards, um, and then E to extrude up, and yeah, I think that's looking good. Let's hit E, S, and then we can just make the cutout up, E, S, make the cutout, E, and extrude down, something like that. Cool. Okay, I think we have something cool to work with. So, yeah, we got some weird goggle looking thing. Um, I guess we could do some sort of cylinder to connect them, maybe. All right, so why don't we do that? So let's hit our tab. Let's do a cylinder. Let's move it X, move it out so we know what we're doing. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Hit S to scale it. Um, down, probably, that's a, probably a good thinness. Then S and Z to scale it up. Oh, crap. S and Z to scale it up, and then R to and X to rotate it. Uh, I mean Y to rotate it there, and then we can just move that to where we want, and then just hit G, push it up, X, I mean Z, and then oh that's why we're in local, that's why. So let's hit global, global, hit X, and then oh X, and then. G and Z to bring it up, all around there, and then G Y to push it out like that. Uh, y, uh, G Y to push it out. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. Hit G X. Okay, so obviously we don't want this stuff sticking out, so we can just scale it again along the Y. I mean the Z, the X, uh, and something like that, and then G. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, S. Y, oh no, X, and then scale it, and there we go. And then we wanna hit G and move it backwards a little bit, something like that. Um, I think that looks pretty good. 
I guess if we want to create like a little nose bridge, we can do that. So let it head to tab, and then hit Control R, and then with your mouse wheel scroll to create more divisions. I'm gonna just create like a few. Uh, let's leave those right there, and then hit Alt. When you click on, uh, uh, so I have the edge selection, and when you click on this middle edge, uh, make sure you hit Alt to select all the ones that are connected. And then we're going to have the proportional editor and we're going to get G and we're going to pull it out a little bit. So let's make this a little smaller and then pull it out along this axis just a little bit, just to create a little bit of a, a bevel or something. Let's see. That's probably good. Awesome. Okay, great. So now we have this weird thing going on. So now we can start adding materials. So let's command save. Let's go into edit mode, but let's first put these all together so they're one single material. Let's hit tab and let's hit the face option, hit this one and this one. And we're just gonna probably, I think we can just apply the same thing we did with the, with the baby. So we can do baby eyes and then miss the material. It's probably fine. And then we wanna do for everything else, command Y, I mean command I. Uh, we probably want to create a new material, something metallic. So let's just do uh, goggles. I'm going to sign that. So let's create a material for the body. And then just new. And then mama, bird, on body. And then we can just choose a. Oh, what we could use is actually just use the, the color from. Um, from and that should work. Let's see if, there we go. Cool. And then for the goggles, we can just do a gray for now. And then in Unity, we can <clears throat> set the metallic um, if we want. We'll just do something like this. I think this is. This will work. Okay, we're not doing anything crazy here. It's just something real simple. <clears throat> so let's deactivate this again. Okay. Uh, so now we have our two. Oh, we have our two models. Oh, so cute. So wide eyed. Okay, so now what we can do is we can export this. So let's export this. Let's export. Let's do an FBX. And uh, let's uh, keep this here. And. Uh, we'll call this baby bird FBX. We're going to make sure it's only the selected object. And we're going to apply this transform so that Unity has some help with the orientation of the axis. So export. Okay. And now we're going to go to Mama Bird. We're going to select all of this. And we're going to hit export FBX. Select object normal bird FBX. And we're gonna make sure that the back is there. Okay, great. So now we can import into Unity. So let's open Unity up. <clears throat> and then let's move over here. But yeah. Do we wanna add anything else? Well, I don't want to complicate it too much. Okay, we'll just leave it at this. Okay, this is our 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 models. Okay, so that's basically our mama bird and baby bird models. Yay! We have now created our 3D models, and now we can start putting things together in Unity. So that's what we're going to go do next. Oh, and don't forget, if you like what you see, I know this is getting annoying. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, also leave a comment because that helps the YouTube algorithm even more and if you generally 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 like what you see hit the subscribe button so that you can stay on top of other cool stuff that I might make in the future. Peace. See you in the next one.